So to begin the six minute walk test, you first have to make sure that you turn on Century Suite, pull in your patient information, get that all set up, and then log in to your tablet, tether the tablet to the Century Suite computer, and pull in your information into the tablet. Once you've got that in, you can untether the tablet and your 10 minute countdown for the patient um, will begin. So this 10 minute countdown is your rest period that you are then able to hook up the blood pressure monitor and the oxygen saturation monitor to obtain those values prior to the beginning of your test. Okay, so now that the 10 minute rest period is up, we have clicked autofill on our tablet, so it filled in my resting pulse ox, my resting heart rate. We took our blood pressure, entered that in. We did a energy, or an exertion scale and an MMRC scale. We clicked next on the tablet, and we're ready to begin our six minute walk test. The tablet shows Kim what to say to me as we begin the test, so she'll read that, and then we will begin the test. All right, the aim of this test is to walk as far as possible for six minutes. You will walk along this highway, hallway between the markers as many times as you can in six minutes. I will let you know as each minute goes past, and then at six minutes I will ask you to stop where you are. Six minutes is a long time to walk, so you will be exerting yourself. You are permitted to slow down, to stop, and to rest as necessary, but please resume walking as soon as you are able. Remember that the objective is to walk as far as possible for six minutes, but do not run or jog. Do you have any questions? I do not. Yeah. Okay, Christy, you may begin. You are doing well. You have five minutes to go. Keep up the good work. You have four minutes to go. You are doing well. You are halfway. Keep up the good work. You only have two minutes left. You are doing well. You only have one minute to go. Please stop where you are. Why could you not walk any further? Well, because of the end of the test. Done. The test is done. All right, I'm going to get you a chair. At the end of the test, when we instructed the patient to stop and stay, at that time we take a peak blood pressure. Um, and we just record it on a piece of paper that we're holding. Um, we don't put it actually into the tablet at that time. That comment box will pop up with a question why the patient could not walk any further. This is where you'll put end of test, or if the patient did have to stop for some sign or symptoms where we couldn't continue, um, prior to the six minutes ending, we would put that uh, comment into the box at that time as well. Um, once we get our patients sitting, we will the 10 minute countdown timer will start for the rest period. During this time, you can do the following. We'll ask the patient to rate their peak dyspnea and exertion and enter these into the tablet by tapping the rating box. We will measure any partial lap distance walked following completion of the lap first. Enter this into the tablet as distance final. And we will also have the patient return to their seated resting position. At the end of the 10 minute rest period, we'll take another final blood pressure and we will enter the systolic and diastolic fields into the tablet. We will tap the autofill button to update the SpO2 and heart rate data, and we will click the next button at the bottom of the screen. At this time, we will see a finish button, which we will tap once. So after we have rested our 10 minutes, did our autofill for our oxygen saturation heart rate, took a blood pressure, did our resting energy, um, indexes we click the finish button and it asks us to tether back into the computer so once we do that it brings up we got to turn on the tethering hit that back button and hit finish again enter any technician comments that you need to at this point I'm just gonna say okay and get rid of it now we're waiting to transfer the data over to Century Suite 
so my data has been transferred successfully. That's great. So then I can come to the computer, go down here to Applications, click Offline Data Import right here, and this is going to create the report for us. So I'll wait for that to come up. Once we do that, you see the six minute walk test report here. If I go up here from pre, I have to change this to test. So right here to test. And that will help start importing your testing data right from the tablet. Okay, so you see here, we have all the data, pre data in column A, and we have the data in column B, and the data in column C. So the, um, we have to put in that peak blood pressure that we took at um, the end of the test, which is column B. We have to add that peak blood pressure. So right there, and we're on to column A, sorry. So it was, I'm going to say 165 over 97. And I'm going to double check to make sure my my um, column B is correct, blood pressure is correct, and my column C during test blood pressure was correct. So, looks good. I'm done with that. So after I save my changes, I'm going to go to Bronson 6 Minute Walk Test Report, click on that. It's going to save my changes and update my report and send it into, um, to send it into Epic, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click this F4 icon. So if I click that, it's gonna ask me if I want to do a preliminary or a final or a corrected copy. I'm gonna say final because um, this does not have to be interpreted. So I want to send the final report into Epic. So it's sending the final report into Epic. I am done. At this point, I can also go into EPIC and pull up the patient under the MRN number and ensure that this test has gotten into EPIC and that all the data has transferred correctly. So this is what your data looks like. Okay. And that's the end of the session. Your patient is finished.